Let's take a look at this question. How do you know that these are the left radius and left ulna? And this is the right ulna and right radius. How do you know? How do you know I put these in pairs? These being the two right and these being the two left? How can you tell? Well, this is the proximal end. This is the elbow joint end, and this is the end that's nearest the wrist. You can see on each one of these, this is a radius, this is a styloid process. This is the ulna, and it has a styloid process as well. You can feel these bony promises in your own uh, body. This is an actual pair, and it's the left pair. Something you need to know to understand this is in your forearm, the little finger side has the ulna buried in the forearm. The thumb side has the radius, always. This position of the hand is called supination. If you turn it over, it's called pronation. The anatomical position, the hands are facing forward. In this position, the bones in your forearm, the ulna and radius, are actually parallel. And they look like this. So we now know that the radius is always going to be found on the thumb side of your forearm, in the ulna, on the little finger side of your forearm. We know these are a pair because the head of the radius fits into the notch on the ulna. 